Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros Podcast. Woo! Mm. Man, we are live from Orlando, Florida. It's hot as fuck out here. It is really hot. Uh, I Jesus. can't imagine being in clown makeup. We got, <laughs> we got a special guest. Uh, are we going by that Miss Quinn? Do we want to go by Twitter or? Um, yeah, that works. That Miss Quinn. Quinn with one N. <laughs> Quinn, Quinn with one N. Okay, cool. Because we want people to be able to find you, Absolutely. obviously. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's not often we have somebody who's involved in clown pornography on the show. Or ever. We've done close to 500 episodes and no one, no one so far that I know of has been on the show who's invo- involved in, in clown pornography. When you say involved, what do you mean? I mean, on a, on a daily basis. Because pounding off at home to clown porn, does that count? No, that does not count. Oh, so, it yeah. Counts, maybe it counts a little. A little bit. A, a, li- a little bit it counts. We'll see. Uh, we, hey, we want to thank White Claw, uh, who's our sponsor tonight. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud, by the way. That we want to thank White Claw for getting white girl wasted on Drinking Bros podcast. When they hit us up, they said, hey, man. You guys drink, but do you drink anything? Yes, yes, we do actually. Yep. Yeah, uh, and this that one of the finest in the biz. We got fucked up on this the other night, Dan. Well, the other night, if by the other night you mean while driving from Wilmington to Raleigh, then to Fort Bragg, while Correct. we did Mad Best Book Tour. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Thank you for my service. I, yep. I did pull over and uh, I, let, I let the claws in me on the way uh-huh. home. The thing I love about Florida is that it's a lot like Bloodline. I am fucking sweating down here. You watch that show on Netflix, and you're like, it can't be that hot. Holy fucking shit. Uh, Quinn, how long have you lived here? Um, I've lived in Florida off and on for about 10 years, like all over it. All over Florida for 10 years? Uh, yeah, just about. Is it, is, it, is it this hot? Yeah, it's just swamp ass all the time. Oh, it's God. Garbage. How do you deal with that in porn? I stay inside and keep the air conditioner way, way low. Yeah, but but when the guys come over, like, what's that like? Well, it's mostly the ladies, to be honest. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Are the ladies the disgusting ones? Oh. <laughs> We're all a little disgusting, I think. Especially it's the Florida. girls, though, right? <laughs> it's always the girls who I, I feel like are the most disgusting. So much more, more crevices to, to get sweaty and achy. Yeah. So here's the beauty uh, about Florida. There's not a lot of clown people who do what you do. Of course it would be in Florida, naturally, right? There's Actually, a few of us, in, quite a few of us in Florida. How many are there? Uh, well, that I personally know of about three others. Th- oh, three others. <laughs> so is there a clown porn guild? There should be, and I should totally make one. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Is it like the lollipop guild at all, would you say? I mean, it could be if you lick all the lollipops. Oh, my Oof. goodness. <laughs> we're, st- we're starting off with a bang here, literally. How'd you get involved in it? Um, well, I've been making porn, not just clown porn, but I've been making uh, fetish porn for about seven years. Really? I know. It's crazy. That's how old I was when I started watching oh, fetish God. porn. Yeah. Yeah. Dan was a uh, really, really young man when he Come started on, don't watching. Don't judge uh, me, you piece of shit. I'm not, it's, it's not that I'm judging you. Um, it's just you are who you are. You're like Kesha, you know? <laughs> you are who you are. And I, I'm not going to judge you for that. In a lot of ways, I am like Kesha. You are. Um, but our, our good buddy, Charlie Classic, who uh, runs the Sausage Castle, was like, hey, man, do you know there's a big clown porn fetish thing going on there? And I was like, is there really? I know somebody. Uh, and then you, you popped in. Yes. And yeah. you're married because you were like, hey, we're, we took over uh, Drinking Bro's house here. Uh, Jeff Simonson, where are you at? Uh, he w- yeah, he's dumping out in there. His, his own house party. And he, he went inside. Jeff, thank you. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you so much. Um, his wife is actually afraid of clowns, which is amazing. Yeah, That's, I don't think that I've makes seen her all yet. this a lot funnier, to be honest. Oh, it makes it amazing. It makes it amazing. So, when you're doing clown pornography, like you sell clips online, what's the most requested thing? Is I was looking through your catalog, obviously just for the interview. For of science. course, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not for anything sexual for myself. Sure. I didn't put my hands on my person. Uh, I'm a little disappointed, actually. Well, maybe I have five or six times, okay? Five or six times I've put my hands on my person. Uh, when I say my person, that's obviously my wiener. Um, I call it my person. Brethren. and yeah, Just another nickname for it. Another nickname for it. One of the things that I saw you were doing was hiccup videos. Oh, yeah. Those, uh, <laughs> those sell really, really well, and I don't really understand why. 
Um, but yeah, I, I get that. Like when I first uh, started and like I got hiccups one time and I filmed it because they wouldn't stop. And I was just, you know, dirty talking. Like literally I wasn't doing anything else, just hiccuping with, with dirty talk and people like lost their shit for it and they just loved it. So whenever, I always keep my camera nearby. So when I, if I happen to get hiccups, I have to record it. Yeah, really? like we all do that, I think. I, th- I think we do. We all keep our camera nearby just in case we get hic- hiccups. Yeah, yeah, because uh, look, uh, hiccup porn is, how, so who bought the first hiccup porn? Like who was that? How do you, how do you come across that and say, man, this girl's hot, and I enjoy watching her masturbate. You know what would be even better if she was hiccuping? Some people, man. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, so so you didn't do it first, and oh, then? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. That's been around for a while. It has been? Yeah, apparently. Why am I new to it's this, It's Rule Dan? 34, man. Rule uh, yeah. 34 of the internet, according to 4chan, is if you can dream of it, porn of it exists, basically. Yes. And, uh, right? but to answer your question, originally how I got into clown porn is I'm a clown fetishist personally, like that's my thing. And I was um, making porn for about a year and I also do live webcam shows like every day. That's kind of my day job and I make clips more for fun. I mean, they're, you know, business, but camming is the focus. Anyway, um, I was doing it for about a year and I was just thinking, well, I'm catering to all these people's fetishes and making all their amazing dreams come true. I should take care of myself. So. I started making clown porn, and I wasn't the only one that liked it, so I didn't feel so alone. Yay! That's so amazing. Let me let me ask you this: What got you into the clown pornography? Like, as the, something had to happen early on, right? And like in the childhood. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Like a lot of fetishes, they think come out of the formative years. Sure. Um. I've been thinking about that kind of hard lately, actually. I think it might have had to do with a lot of the cartoons that I watched as a kid. So we can kind of blame Nickelodeon a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Really? Sideshow Bob, maybe? Yeah, a little, little bit. Yeah. It's Kelsey little Grammer, bit of the by the way. So. <laughs> Is it Kelsey Grammer? Oh, yeah. Sideshow Bob. I love a little grammar. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So you think watching clown pornography, like clowns as a kid, that got you into clown pornography later? Well, I mean, that's a, that's a, <laughs> a few things, I guess, happened before that, but well, what were in those between, things? Um, well, uh, I was raised uh, pretty, like, uh, sex was considered, like, you know, really serious because kind of religious. I'm from, originally from Virginia, so a lot of Southern Baptist, evangelical, all that fun stuff. So sex was really serious, and that just seemed really boring, and I wasn't interested in it for a really long time. Right. But then, like, you know, as I got a little bit older, I was like, well, this would be fun if there was more laughter involved. So it kind of built from there. there would, it would be more fun if there was more laughter involved. You know, this ejaculating is not bad. Yeah, let's add some makeup. Let's add some makeup and laughter to it. (laughs) Exactly. So since you do clips and cams and all that other shit, what's the most fucked up request that you've gotten? The most fucked up? It's Once again, seven years doing this is kind of hard to, to decide what exactly is fucked up, but something that really threw me off really recently is uh, this guy wanted me to play with sock puppets. And he, ah. uh, and he got really... Oh, is really it Prince Andrew? Yeah. Because you know, Prince Andrew, the whole Epstein thing that's going on, yeah. that was one of his deals. He liked, to ha- he liked to use a puppet to touch women, but not women, girls. It, it was a puppet of himself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big time. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, this guy wanted, like, you know, socks, puppets on your hands with googly eyes, and he was mad at me that I didn't have any googly eyes and I wouldn't do it, so he was like, okay, never mind, I don't want to work with you. And I'm like, what? Because oh. what I'll do is let people sometimes direct, like, the clip that they want. You so know, it's J-O-I sure. style, but in reverse, kind yeah, of, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Nice. Wow. That's fucking wild. You know so what's really good is to put googly eyes on statues? Yeah. <laughs> Super fucking funny. You do it to all, uh, actually, Confederate generals. Yes. You put googly eyes on their statues. Well, that's, that's one of your big fetishes. They came in second place, so. Yeah, Dan's super into Robert E. Lee porn. <laughs> um, he likes to, he likes grandfathers dressed up as Robert E. Lee. It's super specific. And that's the yeah. only way he can get off to that. It's not the only way. It's the best way. He apparently so. had really tiny feet. I don't know. Robert E. Lee did. Yeah, apparently. How would you know that? That's the weirdest goddamn thing I've ever heard. That's kind of amazing, though, if that's true. He bound them like a like a Chinese woman. I, I think you have to yeah. at some point, yeah. right? <laughs> From birth, yeah. They why, keep them small. why would you want tiny feet in this life? <laughs> I don't know. Just, uh, just out of happenstance, why would you want tiny feet? How, what size are you rocking right save now? Save money on shoes, probably. I wear a 12, but I mean, you could save money on shoes. Yeah, yeah, you can. If you could buy child shoes. Oh, it'd be great. One of my Wouldn't exes it? wore like the biggest size shoe for a, a male child, basically. We saved tons of money. Really? Oh, yeah. 
That's fucking crazy. Well, is it the go. one that tried to kill you? Yes, it is. Oh, it is. Yep. God oh damn gosh. it. She's weird as fuck anyways. Well, big fake titties, so yeah. what do I do? I wonder if, you, if that's a thing, too, where you can go back and get, like, uh, dead people's shoes. Like famous dead people's shoes. Oh, that sounds awesome. Well, there's I a lot at the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> oh, boy. Dan, Jesus Christ. Wow. Uh, How this do we is come Dan's back from last that? episode tonight, everyone. Um, also, like to end drinking Oof. bros at that point. Uh, that was just a statement of fact. I'm sorry. Come oh, on, God. Brought to you by White Claw, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Is there, is, there, okay. is there a bunch of shoes there? I have not been there. Yeah. Yeah, there that is. was the thing. Like, Have you never shoe, been? The pile of shoes. It's a, it's a thing. No, I don't know that much about the Holocaust, but uh, <laughs> there's no way to turn up the party <laughs> than a nice Holocaust <laughs> joke. <laughs> Welcome to Drinking Bros, as always. Yeah, if you didn't know where you were, and sure as shit, no now. So if you get a weird request, like something like that, like, hey, why don't you throw in some Holocaust shoes and, and masturbate for me? Do you, ch- do you upcharge for something like that? Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you I, I wouldn't do anything involving the Holocaust because that's just rude. But, I mean, oh, absolutely. Sometimes, like, I have charged people, like, a ridiculous amount for something. And it's like, sometimes it's like, oh, are they going to actually pay this? I don't know. All right, whatever. Here's some ridiculous price. And sometimes they're like, yeah. And I'm like, yes. Really? I will make you some weird shit. What's the highest, what's the highest price you've oh, ever I, charged? I'd rather, not, I'd rather not talk about that, actually. Oh, you can't <laughs> talk about that? Yeah, I'd rather not. Is it, well, are we talking, like, over a grand? Oh, <laughs> no, I just rather, I don't like that question. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. Is that, is that a Florida law that we're not allowed to talk about that? No, it's just a personal thing. Okay. <laughs> Man, now I want to know. I almost want, like, a GoFundMe for the most fucked up shit we could think of. Is it weird she got turned off by that, but the Holocaust thing was okay? Yeah, that, that is kind of strange. That is kind of strange. strange. Jesus Christ. Yeah, are you a big Anne Frank fan? <laughs> you know what's so, funny is when I was younger, everybody thought I looked like Anne Frank because my like hair was very similar color. And when we were like, you know, everybody learns about that, and they were like, "You're you're Anne Frank." I'm like, "No, not really." I think that's the last comparison, celebrity-wise, you want to be compared <laughs> yeah. to. Like, you look like a young Anne Frank. Well, she was only a young Anne Frank because. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Again, <laughs> welcome to the last show in Drinking Jesus Bros Christ. history, everyone. <laughs> Boy, this Florida heat. <laughs> I am sweating like Shaquille O'Neal in the fourth quarter of a game seven. Um, and D- Dan's gone to Holocaust <laughs> real early into the show. We might as well tackle the rest of it. Uh, would you do an O.J. Simpson video? No. No? <laughs> there, there was a twinge in your voice. There, there's a lot of death fetishists out there, I guess. Is I mean, there really? Yeah, oh, yeah. People want to, like, die all the time. It's crazy. Like, sometimes, like, people, like, I've done, um, like, monster videos because, of course, with clowns, I also really like doing monster shit. Like, of course. Contacts, horns, of course, yeah. fangs, and stuff. And people, like, want it, me to imply that I'm going to fuck them and then, like, you know, kill them afterwards. Like, Black Widow shit. Really? Cr- yeah. I mean, that's the life I live, so. Yeah, that's Dan's life every day. <laughs> yeah. All he wants to do is die after sex. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, typically, wouldn't? the girl's going to have some form, like, maybe two or three children. Uh, not from me, though. No, not from you, but mm-hmm. from them. And they're going to mm-hmm. think that you're the dad, and then that's going to be a disappointment. Yes. And then the woman's going to kill you afterwards. Like, that's kind of where you're headed in this I can't life. wait. I no. haven't slept in two days. I need a nap. <laughs> He's hoping for that in Florida. <laughs> Uh, what, what's what's one of the weirdest fucking things you've seen here in Florida? Because I'll be honest with you, we do a segment on Ross Patterson Revolution called Crime Corner, and it feels like every fucked up crime is from the state of Florida. Oh yeah, everything terrible happens in Florida. Speaking of terrible things that happen in Florida, Fetish Con also happens in Florida. That was actually two weeks ago. And Fetish it was all, Con. All sorts of debauchery takes place there. Where is it? What? It's what, um usually in, that? It's usually in St. Pete. Mm. Oh, St. Petersburg. Uh, yeah, but what? what That's a weird city, what though. What facility hosts that? Do you know? It, just that a hotel? Just yeah, a hotel. It's, a, it's a hotel. Yeah, like, it's, it's a convention. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an entire convention, you know, and it's for slutty people to get together, fetish people, lifestyle people, Yeah. mostly to make a lot of porn. Yeah, so <laughs> I was just going to say, when you get together during something like that, you probably go up to the hotel afterwards and then you shoot and you, you know, shoot clips, porn, everything else in the hotel? Yeah. Like, I just work my ass off. Like, friends are like, I didn't even see you at Con. I'm like, because I was... Making all the porns, guys. What else am I going to do? Yeah, right? Because you, you probably <laughs> I got... I ate so many butts this year. It uh, was d- great. You ate so many butts. Let me uh-huh. act... Let, let's get into ass-eating season, because yes. it's coming up soon, yes. right? Yes, ass-eating season is coming up soon. 
We all know the rules. October 1st to May 1st, that's ass-eating season. By the way, if oh, you're really? going on the cruise, yes. you've got a reprieve on the cruise, just not after Mexico. We've, we've been over this already. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Uh, so is ass-eating big in your business? I mean, I personally enjoy it, so it's, yeah, it's big to me. So when you say personally enjoy it, done on you or to other both. people? Both. Both, really? Wow. Uh, Dan's a big fan of that. He shaves up. Uh, he, I'm lasered. Yeah, he's, he's completely wow. lasered It took down me there. 18 months to get my butthole lasered. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> it's because it's time. multiple sessions, right? Yeah. You, can, you don't do it all at once. That sounds terrible. No, it's great. It's, uh, yeah, it's actually really nice. Um, so let me ask you this. What's the etiquette for, because obviously we're not in porn. Uh, I used to do a lot of amateur work back in the day, but that was my own kind of camera work, my own handyman ship, uh, if you will. What's the, what's the etiquette for ass eating? Where do you have to shave up? You know, just a rat. Like, some people wax. I, I, I like to, to shave it. I don't do the whole waxing situation. You don't do the waxing situation? No, it just, I can't, you know, there's hair growth involved, and it just, no. Like, I like it nice and smooth all the time, if I can make it that way. And is that everybody else, too? Are they, are they on the same fucking tip where it's just like, hey, you know that going in of, like, let's not ask no. you to do some disgusting shit if... No, some people some people aren't nice and don't, and don't you know trim. Like some people aren't into that, which is you know that's fine, it's whatever. But if they don't warn you beforehand, you're just kind of like, oh, okay. Uh. Really? <laughs> that's oh, <no>. crazy. <laughs> and and you're married in real life. Uh, I do have a partner. Yes. Yeah. So uh, uh, with your husband, he travels with you. He's here tonight. Obviously, we're not going to have him on the show. Yeah. But uh, what does he think about everything you do for a living? Uh, well, he's not into clown stuff at all. But it was something that was actually really, really sweet is when I first decided I was going to, like, come out about it and make, sure. make clown porn for it. He looked up how to make a whole bunch of balloon animals, and I woke up, like, the next day, and the, the whole house, like, had balloon animals in it. And I thought that was really sweet. Really? Uh, yeah, I, came, as, like, I went to Ross's house the other day, and after he had heard about you, he's got balloon animals everywhere. Oh, everywhere. really? Yeah. That's adorable. Uh, it's something. That was one of the clips that I saw on you online was it appeared that if you, you had made a... A balloon animal like a poodle and then masturbated with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I remember that. That was. And the crazy, because yeah, the crazy the thing. thing about it is on your. They make fantastic. Those twisty balloons make real good dildos. Uh, do they really? Get that close to you. Yeah. Because uh, uh, on Twitter, you can watch your, like, clips of your videos, like five, ten seconds. Yeah, little teasers. How long do you think that's going to go on on Twitter where you can watch just full segments of porn and then not do that anymore? You can we, put, we, like, ten minutes up now, right? Ten full minutes of can whatever you? the fuck you want. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, because yeah. I only use it as a teaser kind of thing. No, you for can put stuff. you can put like up up to ten minute videos. I think on Damn. Twitter now. So we had Tiana wow. Trump on the show. Yeah, and she puts all kind of crazy shit. She puts the craziest yeah. shit on the planet up if you follow her Twitter. Is there any thought into posting more of that? And then I want to get your feelings on Pornhub now that they're monetized. <sighs> um, my feelings toward Pornhub are very complicated. <laughs> Just because, you know, uh, quite a bit of stuff that I have been at, that I've done work with other people, uh -huh. sometimes gets pirated and put on there because I keep track of my shit. Like, I check it almost every single week to see if any of my stuff is there and I get it taken down. Because, um, you know, it sucks working really hard for things and then people just think they don't have to pay for it. Yeah, the amount of time like, it goes that's into my shaving life. the <laughs> contours of a butthole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, honestly. <laughs> exactly. You want to get, get rewarded for that? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah but because uh, I, I would imagine... At some point, you've got to just give up and say, hey, I'm going to fucking join Pornhub. Oh, no. I have an account there. Um, it's that Miss Quinn 24 Okay. <laughs> say it again. Um, that Miss Quinn 24 um, But I I basically just troll on there, to be honest, right now. I think I have, like, two videos up. But because somebody pirated one of my cam shows, and they put it up there, and then I got it put onto my profile. I don't know. They're, Pornhub is – they're trying to do good things to make it so people can – you know, get monetized with views and everything similar to YouTube, mm -hmm. but I just... It's kind of the Wild West, though. It, it really is. The thing is that they've built... They've, that they've, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, they, they got, they've become really popular because they steal content, and they, they host stolen content, and, you know, that's, that's what it is. It, it sucks. <laughs> it, it really sucks. It's, <laughs> it's kind of ruined porn. Like, it really has. It's made people feel like they don't have to pay for it, and, you know, if you want more really good porn... You gotta toss in a little coin. Yeah. With as with anything, music, movies, you know. Yeah, no, all all of it, all the way around, and mm -hmm. I, and I think look because the death of DVD for porn was the first one, right? Because everybody was buying porn on DVD, and then nobody's because if you can go on X videos or Pornhub or whatever and get mm -hmm. off, 
That's way easier than sneaking into a, one of those shack rated X houses that's on the side of a road. Yeah, I used to dress like you and go to those places. Oh, uh, did you really? Yeah, put on the blonde lesbian wig and the whole shit. Oh, boy. I Look, we're doing summer of Swayze. It has turned into, I, it's fall of Caitlin right now. <laughs> I'm in full transition for a lesbian at this point. I cannot wait for whoever's going on the cruise to cut this hair off. Because it is hot. Who here is going on the cruise? Anybody? Yeah. Uh, dude, she's got a bathing suit made out of your faces, by the and way. And Jared's face, too. Yeah, Yeah, we'll bring her on the show afterwards. Yeah. Uh, what's the long-term goal here for you as, a, as an actress in porn? Well, I don't plan on quitting anytime soon. I just want to make more, like, ridiculous, pretentious art porn. Really? Like like uh, like Tarantino type stuff? Or? Sure, that would be fantastic if I had a budget for that. Yes, and of course, dirty feet. <laughs> Why dirty? All the feet? dirty feet, because you know Tarantino's got a thing for the feet. He does. I just yeah. did you watch uh, Once Upon a Time? Of in course, Hollywood? I did. I loved it. Do you? There was I would say eight minutes of dirty feet. Footage oh yeah, in it was it was really nice. That's one thing though um, from doing this for the last seven years is I don't like I don't like feet, but I can appreciate feet. And Margot Robbie has got some fantastic feet. Oh, I bet. I, <laughs> look, Margot Robbie's got a lot of fantastic uh -huh. shit going on. All of it. Yeah, yeah. besides her feet. Is, is, foot fetish is pretty big, right? Oh, absolutely. I think that's one yeah. of the hallmark fetishes, the yeah. foot fetish. But like, it is, there's yeah. so much of it, which I didn't realize it was such a big umbrella situation. Like people, Some people like to like sniff them. Some people like to lick them. Some people just like to have them like crushing their face. It's crazy. Yeah, well, there's... It's, it's, uh, Army Hammer's really into it, right? Well, with his son. Yeah, uh, he's got that video of, of his his son sucking his toes, you, which is a little yeah, much. that's creepy as oh, shit. It, it was a little much. Um, I saw there, there was one where there was foot fetish where the foot is completely bare and exposed, and it was smashing a rat. You're killing a rat. I you have a pet rat. About? That sounds terrible. Yeah, but you're killing gerbils with your feet, and that's a that's a fetish. That is too, totally right? a thing. Yeah, people, it is, people, right? people have asked me to squish bugs and stuff like that, and I'm just like, no, I'm not gonna kill Jesus anything for Christ. you. Wow. Like, yeah, or like some people try to get like people. Um, I actually had a producer a few years ago. Um, I had a producer tell another model that like I swallowed a fish because some people are into like boar, which is like cannibalism kind of thing. Really? And, uh, yeah, they so were like trying to- they were, live fish? Yeah, like they were trying to tell a model that I did it and I had never met these people before. And then I contacted them and I was like, look, I don't know if you have me confused or somebody else, but I don't believe in that. I, don't, I wouldn't do that for porn, you know? And they were, they never contacted me again. So I have no idea what happens. Wow. It seems like a lot of work. That is a lot of work. Yeah. But is there a price tag on that? Not for me, no. No, what about <laughs> no. a live cat? No, I have a pet cat. Because we've got no. a few here. No. There's a live cat here. If if we gave you, I'll I don't pet know, a kitty all day long, but I'm not going to kill it. To swallow a live like grand, Alf. Or because you know Alf. No, I'm cats not going to be Alf. <laughs> two grand to shave it and fuck it, stuff it up my ass. <laughs> oh, for you? Yeah. Well, I mean, for me, just like maybe two legs. You just get two legs the front inside back of me. Legs. I, doesn't matter to me. Two legs is two legs on a cat. Well, the you back know? legs of a cat can kick really hard. Eh, it's not a donkey. Let's not. Let's not take this to extremes here it's not All a right. fucking donkey well, can, can, can the cameras see like that big inflatable back there yeah. yeah um i have actually been fucked on one of those with a strap on really hard and we had to like s stab it actually to, and we f like they fucked me until the thing in uh, deflated and was dead so that was the thing that happened so that was you, part of my life wow somebody asked somebody asked you to to get fucked on a on a big pink flamingo no it was, it was just um i'll get together with models and we'll like make trade content like we'll make some model we'll make some uh videos for them and then we'll make some videos for me and one of the videos that one of the models wanted me to make was her to fuck me on the inflatable yeah wow. inflatables are a big deal too people love to inflatables pop them are big. yeah yeah like they, they like to overstuff them with air until they explode like people just go nuts for that stuff yeah. and they pay a lot of money for that yeah people go crazy for that stuff well yeah. you look relatively young um, you could keep this going for a long time. Oh yeah, right? I, don't, I don't plan on quitting anytime soon. <laughs> like a long time, yeah. And yeah. They're, they're oh, not no, going to stop while. making inflatable flamingos either, so <laughs> no, you should be good. <laughs> no, and, and and people are are going to have feet for a very long time. They well, are we'll going to have feet. We'll see yeah. what the next stage of human evolution is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll see where it goes. But yeah. I, think, I think she's safe for another ten years. I think we're going helicopter arms. Oh god damn it, that would be great. So yeah. A nice not helicopter having to porn. walk. Can you imagine? be the best fuck that would me be that so would great. be a nice fetish Jesus. do you get uh let me ask you this do you get a lot of uh amputee fetishes you know i don't but i i think it's pretty fascinating like i have a contingency plan for if i ever lose a limb like i'm like oh i have a plan for 
Like I don't know. Do other people have plans for if they lose limbs? I don't. I don't know. No, yeah, it's like really a, dark. Is but... there a financial advisor you've spoken to about this? Like, hey, if we lose an arm, forget about the insurance money. I'm just gonna start making amputee porn after this. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> think it's important to work with what you got. There you go. It is. I like yeah, that. it is. Because wheelchair porn is a thing. Oh yeah. Oh it it is. yeah, it is. Absolutely. I mean, uh, what's his name? Russell Brand. Russell, he yeah, can Russell only Brand's he can that. only ejaculate if somebody runs over his dick in a wheelchair, basically. Yeah. Do you watch all the porn there is to try to get ideas? For things that you might want to do, because we listen to podcasts and stuff all the time, yeah. get new ideas. Um, no, not really. Like sometimes I'll I'll just get bounce ideas off friends, like other friends that do this too. Sure. Um, but no, but yeah. like like for wheelchair porn, you clearly knew what it was. So have you? Seen well, like it? there's a fetish for like everything, like just about everything. There is, but like, have you physically There's seen the wheels go over someone's dick and no, balls? No, no. I have seen. I've also partaken in of um, like, I'll put a fake cast like on my foot and like struggle to get like a glass of water, for example. And people like like the struggling and like the helpless, oh damsel in distress kind of thing. No yeah, way. Yeah, it's it's totally a thing. I just. I kick my legs up over my head and pound off and clean off my chest and get up and go to work every day. I'm meat and potatoes guy. Yeah, you really are. You really are. He's look. If you if Dan had his dream porn, it would be a nice 180 woman from Wisconsin, <laughs> just dripping hot cheese on herself. Cheese all over the place. Watching yeah. a Packers game yeah. like that's dream. That that's Dan's fetish right there. Yeah, drinking beer. Yeah. Have you ever had like food? Oh food yeah, people smoking? people are really into food. Yeah, I've done. Um, I've done videos where like I've stepped on food or like I've squished it with my butt. Um, and then, um, I did one where a girl, like a, you know, a BBW, big girl, yeah. was like feeding me. Oh, we um, know what it means. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. don't what? even worry Not, about that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we know what BBW means. In it, this it's crowd. a habit. I can't help it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, but she was like feeding me donuts and she was acting like she was gonna make me fat like her, and I was like, no. And yeah, people people really like that too. You know, have you seen <laughs> no that show way. Mind Hunter? Do you know what that is? Yeah. So I love that show. By the way, I would like to do a Mind Hunter series, but about people who are into this shit. Yeah. And that, see yeah, what that it is that motivates fun. them. This is fascinating to me. I, I mean, again, I could go on for fucking hours about. Oh yeah, this. I could yeah. talk about this forever. Like it's. <laughs> yeah. It's the craziest shit. <laughs> I, it is the craziest shit. So, d does your husband help you film? Like, what's that like when um, he gets yeah, home he, from uh, his job and he's just like, oh, hey. Well, we, uh, we're we definitely partners. I'm, uh, like, um, he edits my videos and, like, helps set up um, any props that I need or any, okay. like, sets that I need. And, uh, By props, we're you mean we're the live cats, right? <laughs> no, I told you I'm not going to cosplay as Alf. We'll see. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see. The night's, the night's there's, there's a price tag on there. Well, the, we'll find the, out what the it night is. The night is still young, I suppose. Don't, um, yeah, no, don't. I have a, I have a good, I have a pretty fun story involving it. Um, I was, <clears throat> this was when I did my very first uh, pegging scene, which is um, fucking a guy in the ass with a Again, strap on. Again, you don't have to tell this crowd what pegging episode, is. Yes, Listen. our very first episode was pegging explains. Fantastic. So okay. tell, yeah, what's that like to peg someone? Oh, it's it's wonderful. I love it. Well, I like. I fuck men and women, so I, like, strap on fucking all around. But uh, it was my very first time doing it, and I did it with uh, porn star Lance Hart, and uh, he's fantastic. And uh, he was um, – I was being my clowny self, and uh, he was dressed up as Superman, and he had this really, like, hot, lycra, full-body suit kind of thing, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'll just tear a hole in it, and you can fuck me. And uh, my partner was like, you're going to rip that thing? And he was like, yeah, it's fine. And my partner's like, no. No, no, no. I'm going to stitch a butt flap in there for you so he can fix it because my, my partner's really into, like, costuming and stuff. Sure. And, uh, so he took it off and then stitched him a butt flap in there. And, uh, Lance wow. Hart, so yeah. if you're a woman at home and you're looking uh, to uh, fuck strangers in the ass, get you a husband who can stitch. Who can stitch. That's a fun fact. That's, yeah. that's the trick. Find a <laughs> haberdasher. Uh, that's the old school term for <laughs> stitching. Stitching. So you were pegging this guy, Lance? Mm-hmm. And, and what's his thing? Is he jacking off during it? And is he mish or is it from behind? How does that go down? Both. Like you, you switch a little bit from behind, a little bit, a little bit mish, as you said. Gotcha. And that's strictly, <laughs> now was that his thing or was that for the porn? Oh, he's very much into it. I mean, I don't want to speak for him, but he, you know, he's fantastic. He's like pretty well known in, in the, the porn world. In the but industry, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. People know that Lance likes to get pegged, obviously. Yeah, right? no, he's fantastic. <laughs> the best part about this conversation is we're in a residential neighborhood. 
really nice houses and we're outdoors with these microphones oh, so yeah. the neighbors can hear this conversation maybe they're taking something home and learning about that's my hope tonight. that's my hope is that somebody yes. in this neighborhood hears what we're saying and they try some of this stuff out exactly because what we do is we give on this show uh we don't take a lot but we give a lot and tonight even more so to the neighbors anybody running for hoa president in this in this uh group out here today <laughs> Might want to rethink that. Might want to rethink that. Probably should have rethought it after the Holocaust joke from uh, Yeah, Dan. that was bad. Well, there was four of them, so. At the top, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Quinn, this was fantastic having you on. Yes. Tell everybody where they can find you on social media. Oh, yes. Well, for now, you know, until social media censors all of us, um, I am uh, that Miss Quinn on Twitter. Um, once again, Quinn with one N. And Twitter is very, very much adult, so. Don't go there unless you're an adult. Uh, my Instagram is also that Miss Quinn. Um, if you're into the clown thing and not the porn thing, that's totally cool. I have a YouTube channel where I do fun reviews of movies and books and food and all sorts of shit. So, as a clown, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Speaking from a position of authority. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. But you do also regular porn, right? Without the clown. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like you know, it's fetish, but yeah, like I'll I'll fuck the ladies because. The ladies are great, and I'm very, very much into them. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> My God. Will you come back on the show? Because we could literally talk to you for oh, hours yeah, about absolutely. this stuff. This was super fun. I, I, I was... I knew I probably would want to do it again, absolutely, and I'm glad we did it in Clown first. Cause, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I feel so much... Uh, I feel so, <laughs> so much more comfortable in clown. So. Yeah, and if you... Yay. Look, subscribe on YouTube, and you, you can see her in the full clown makeup. Um, uh, given this interview, uh, that Miss Quinn, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being on the show. Thank you so much for having yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, let's bring up the owner of the house. Where's Jeff at? He's in there dumping out again. While Jeff, but while, while Jeff finishes dumping out in his own house, look, you're a man in his own house. Come on in, Jeff. We're going to talk to our sponsors. Uh, if you're doing clown porn, do it on ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. You might want to do it on a mattress. Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros has all your mattress needs. Uh, look, 15% off to military or first responders. You, Jeff, you got a you got a ghost bed in here? I don't. Come on around. Am I even allowed to talk about what I have? You can talk about whatever you have. But you you do need a ghost bed, by the way. That's real. That's real. You definitely do. So anybody at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros, let's give Jeff a bed for having us. Uh, for Christ's sakes, you did not know that we were going to have a uh, someone who specializes in clown pornography on the show. Um, absolutely not. So when you said there was going to be a special guest, special guest, yeah. Um, I probably could have guessed a thousand times and got it wrong a thousand times. <laughs> uh, it's the last thing I I think I expected to walk through the door. People have been asking me so. for two weeks. I'm like, nope, not telling. I'm I'm, I'm glad you didn't tell me. Yeah, I think if there was someone to tell, it might have been me, maybe, and not anyone else, but. I'm kind of glad that you didn't tell me. I was pretty excited about it. So when we decided to do a live show in Orlando, because we're here for the opening of the college football season. It took about six hours from the announcement for you to be like, oh, fuck it, let's do it at my house. And I'm like, wow, this guy probably has mental problems. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Because this, this is a terrible yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very <laughs> bad idea that's worked out great so far. Yeah, so. So far. No, it's great. And look, uh, if you're watching the video show, you've got the nice pool. Alec, pan to the pool here. Uh, you've got a really nice house here. I appreciate it. Yeah, you've got a you've got a nice enclosed pool. It appears as if you have children. I do. Um, They're not here. Thank God. That was my next question. Yeah, I was uh, going just... to ask you if it was going to be children friendly, and then I decided not to uh, let my oh, children. Let me ask you this: no, how, long, how long you been listening to Drinking Bros? <laughs> uh, a few years. Yeah, now. so you yeah. know it's not no. No. child friendly. No. It on. definitely was not. Uh, <laughs> they're at my parents' house tonight. Thank so. God. <laughs> what did you tell your parents? Uh, the truth. Wow. Yeah, I, tr I tried to explain Drinking Bros the best I could, and then I said, you will be watching them that night, Ooh, and yeah. uh, they can't be here. Well, no, that's, that's, a, pretty that's much. a good thing, because, again, Dan opened up with a Holocaust, and then we got into clown right. pornography. Yeah. So, And my kids like clowns, so that would have been weird. Do they probably. really? Yeah. I know your wife does it, and we Absolutely. didn't find that out until we got here. I think tonight. she's uh, hiding upstairs right now. So, no, she's, she's actually around. Um, but I did warn her as soon as I saw Quinn walk in, I ran to my wife to at least give her a kind of a heads up that there was a clown present because <laughs> no one, no one knew. No, no, yeah, yeah. no one was No, aware. we did a good job keeping yeah. that a secret. And that's yeah. probably yeah. not an easy secret to keep. I would oh, imagine. It's man, not. No. It's not. It's when, when you get somebody who specializes in clown pornography, that's the first thing you want to scream at people. 
Yeah, absolutely. That they're going to be yeah, on the show. Definitely. Uh, how long you been in Drinking Bros? Uh, oh, it's been years. Has it really? It has, yeah. Dude. Um, I could, I, as long as I can remember, I've watched Matt's videos online, yeah. and that's yeah. kind of where the whole thing started. Uh, and then, of course, Range 15. Um, and then... Somehow I knew all that, but didn't know about the podcast for a while. And then I, I, you know, I found out about the podcast and then found out about the group. And, uh, I mean, now you're here and it's crazy. Yeah, yes. a, a lot of people uh, don't know. Drinking Bros is a private group on Facebook. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the people in the group don't know that we have a show. Yeah, a podcast, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like serious, seriously, yeah. it's like 60 to 70% of the people in the group don't listen to the show. What's weird is we're up to 5.7 million listeners, and some people in the group don't even know yeah. just because they were there through Facebook yeah, yeah, yeah. from yeah. back right, in the day right. and didn't yeah. know. From Jared's original group, yeah. Yeah, exactly, because yeah. uh, Jared started all this. He's yeah. not here today. How did you How did you hurt your hand? Is that a bowling uh, injury? It's actually a really fucking cool story. Is it really? Uh, yeah. I uh, There's some water. Hold it up to camera here. There's what? some water on the ground. Oh, and hold, up your, uh, uh, hold up your hand to camera there. there. There we go. There's some water on the ground in the kitchen, and I slipped on it, and I think I broke my wrist. You really? should sue yeah. your wife. Was that today? Yeah, I should. Actually. Sue your wife. That's a very good idea. Uh, where is she? She's not here in this. Marissa. She... No, no, no. Don't tell her. No, we'll get her out here because she needs to be sued. You need to take the kids yeah. and the house. I, yeah. I declare that she's sued. I think that's how it works. So. Uh, that's that's Michael Scott logic. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Got it. Exactly. I, like that, I like that a lot. Yeah. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. Any trepidation about having this many people here? Because, look, uh, White Claw is sponsoring Heroes Vodka. Is yep. also sponsoring. They sent some cases here. We're gonna get fucking crazy after the show. Absolutely. Um, goes on. Was there any fear when you were like, "Oh, holy shit! There's gonna be you know 80 to 100 drinking bros at my house." Um, so that was the hard thing trying to plan how many people were gonna be here because yeah. it was like you never know. 40 people said yeah. going and 100 something said interested. Yeah, yeah, how the, yeah, yeah. How the yeah. fuck do you plan for something like that? Yeah, they get nervous um, when you saw that Facebook number rise yeah. to like 150. I mean, I never really cared to be honest because if this was ever a group to host something like that, I think this is the ideal group to do it. It yep. is true. You know, no one for the most part, no one really knows each other here, and we're all getting along great. And I think that that really shows what drinking bros is all about yeah you know and, and, so. that, and that's the amazing thing about the the show and this group is we go to these cities probably every couple weeks and we just show up and then we're like hey let's fucking rage right and then everybody's down and everybody's cool and polite and helping each other out uh tactical brewery yep. donated a keg tonight. hell yeah hell yeah um we're doing a live show from there tomorrow and it, it, it's literally no questions asked anywhere we go they're right. just like oh yeah fucking drinking bros are here you guys are good hell yeah which and is that, not the response you would expect from someone who made four Holocaust jokes tonight. Yeah, yeah. But Fair enough. It is what it is, right? It is. It is. By the way, I want to commend her for not sweating that clown makeup off. It She's is. the only person I'm here not sweating. I'm rather impressed, to be honest. Um, I, I, dude, I'm, I'm You drenched. mentioned the sweating. It's definitely yeah. fucking humid. Yeah. That's for sure. But it's Florida, though. Um, it's Florida. So th that's not to be unexpected. But the fact that it still remains <laughs> on her face is... You know that's pretty impressive. It, so. it is really impressive. Is your wife here? We should we should get her on the show. Is uh, she back there? She's hiding from the clown. I think. I don't know. She. I actually saw her talking to her earlier, and scream that her, was scream her name out and see if. Can if you call she... for Marissa. Marissa. Yeah, let's get Marissa yeah. on the show. Let's, I, I want to hear her, her out thoughts here. of this. Uh, bring bring her on up. It, yeah, is, is she coming up to a round of applause? There it is. <laughs> Marissa, come on in. Swap out with your wife, and we'll, we'll get All you right. on the show. I, I, I want to talk to you because you are a brave woman. Your husband said you don't even really know about drinking bros, right? No, I don't. Uh, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk right into that. No, I don't. <laughs> so you don't know anything about it? No. N not one single thing about drinking bros? Not other than your memes that my husband shares with me okay. every day. So when he said, hey, man, we're going to have a party at the house on a Friday night with a <laughs> shit ton of people, what was your reaction to that? Please let my house be standing afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> But everybody's pretty respectful, right? Oh, so far so good. We're, there's we're there's good. also probably a general contractor in the house tonight too. If yeah, we fix yeah. Some shit. You'll yeah. yeah. I'm but, hoping for that because I need floors replaced and maybe some there bathrooms redone. Right right hey, uh, you, you. Somebody just got topless got in your hot tub there, which is nice. That's high always, five. That's always a nice thing for the uh, for the HOA. I'm good with that. Is it? That's your wife. Hey, the HOA already hates me. We're okay. I love I love that you're proud of that. <laughs> That's Amiri King's buddy right there. That's his Twitch partner. Oh, Is yeah? It really? yeah? Oh, that's yeah. great. Um, 
so your husband told me like right when when we walked in, he goes, "Hey man, I didn't know about the clown thing. My wife has a fear of clowns." Was that real? Yeah, it's real. I fucking hate clowns. This is why. <laughs> look, I. That's just like, providence. If I'm going to go out in the middle of the night, it's going to be but zombie apocalypse yeah. and clowns. And I'm clowns. I'm going to die. So when she walked in, <sighs> you literally took a hard I right. I did. I did. I took to a hard room. right, and I went out the back way of our lanai, and I walked outside. <laughs> and then I ran into her again, and I was like, holy shit, this is my house. No way. Yes. No. I am. I'm no. so How are you feeling about it now? Uh, I'm... Heart palpitations. Yeah. Heart palpitations. Well, like this is this is my worst fear. Yeah. Come to life. But you you met her, right? She's yeah, nice. yeah. She's pretty nice. Yeah. You know, when she's not holding a steak knife and coming <laughs> at my throat, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I don't think most clowns do that. No, most no, clowns do do that. They do. I mean, so it it is obviously. Yeah. Oh, it too is coming yes. out. Yeah, yeah. It's when it's, when it's I, supposed to be. I can't do that. Do you watch the fucking? No, no. I've seen it. I've See, seen that's your it. problem. Yeah. Your only experience with clowns is watching goddamn no, horror movies. No, my only experience with clowns is being in Metro Atlanta when the circus comes into town and ah. you think everybody is a fucking pedophile. That's true. So I, I'm, I'm from Atlanta. Yeah. And that's true. Yes. When the circus came into town, yes. my parents used to take me as a kid. And you're Every right. Every time. It was flooded with clowns. Every time. It, it was a haunting feeling. It I got was. over it probably by watching that pornography. <laughs> Um, because I really can't. It's called <laughs> it's called cognitive behavioral therapy. It's, oh, it's really? exposure really? therapy. Yeah, you just watch a bunch of clown porn, then you're not afraid anymore. Oh, okay, so yeah. that's what I should do with my life. Yes, oh, I think so. I'm a goddamn okay. doctor, son. Okay. Again, if you if you've <laughs> never seen somebody masturbate with a balloon animal, uh, I would highly recommend it. Um, wait, wait, wait. Was it a sword or was it a puppy dog? It was because a, it, it was a poodle. It, it depends. Yeah. It depends. It's it a poodle. poodle. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Very okay. non-threatening animal. Yeah, yeah. Very non-threatening. Yeah. If it's a sword, that's another level. <laughs> where you're like, hey, all right, cool. How long you been married to Jeff? About five years now. And everything's going well so far? Uh, Until tonight. <laughs> essentially. <laughs> essentially, you know. Every now and then I think about filleting him, but it's okay. Oh, not, now yeah. you're speaking Dan's language. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> oof. It sounds like, uh, Jeff, you and Dan have the same fetish over there. <laughs> getting murdered. Yeah. yeah, getting murdered. He goes, I'll take it. He said, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, you, you look. You were yeah. gracious enough to, to have us in your house. We greatly appreciate it. Um, I know you probably didn't know what the fuck was going on tonight, no, but okay. uh, thank you for having us. And don't don't go too hard on him after oh, this party's it's over tonight. All okay. You guys are more than welcome to come crash my house anytime. We'll be here tomorrow night as well. Yep. Oh, and Sunday. I can handle that. I can handle that. And we're staying three weeks, and I think <laughs> I'm here to play catch with your kids. <laughs> all right. I don't know about three weeks, but I can handle well, Saturday too late. and Sunday. It's said, so. too late. When Dan moves in, he moves in. Yeah. Uh, probably adopt your kids too, and you won't know. I've it. adopted. Half the people here and they don't even know it. Yeah. Bye, Felicia. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's got an adoption fetish. I do. It's my thing. Yeah. He does. Uh, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having us. We yeah, greatly great. appreciate it. Brittany, where's welcome. Brittany at? Brittany, come on the show. Brittany, you are in Drinking Bros. You had a bathing suit, it appears, made out of Jared and Dan's face. Yes. Yes, uh, two swimsuits for the cruise. Two sw are you? You're wearing a. U you, looks like you're wearing a USA swimsuit right now. Yes, right? Yep. yes. I was gonna wear the Dan swimsuit tonight, but my boyfriend's here. Oh, he is. And it uh, wasn't really appropriate. <laughs> I think it wasn't he, appropriate. He's been staring at me, so I think he would like it to be honest. I think he would Why too. don't you wear that? and You guys go hook up later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's his fetish. He yeah. wants to fuck you wearing Dan. Always. Why take that off the table? I want to see that. <laughs> How long you guys Ooh. been dating? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> He's a good-looking dude. He looks like Clay Matthews from the Packers. A little bit like Clay Matthews. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been like a thing happening for a few years, and now it's finally official. So. So is he cool with Drinking Bros? Is he in Drinking Bros? No, he's not. This I just brought him here. Oh, Come well, on. it's your first event. Yeah. But yeah. I left singles <laughs> for him. Don't boo him. Jesus. Relax, guys. <laughs> I left, but I left singles for him. And I got I got a text from you and Jared both like, is this real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but both Dan and Jared were very disappointed. Yeah, they were like, what's going on? Because <laughs> Jared's single now. I Yep. So the porn star thing didn't work out, which is weird. Shock. <laughs> we all thought she was the one. So surprised. <laughs> Magically, she wasn't. So Yeah, I got both of their faces tattooed on the small of my back because I thought it was going to be forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're going to have to change that. Yeah, it sucks.
Uh, you're going on the cruise. Yes. How amped are you about going on Drink Bros Cruise? I'm so, so excited. I actually booked my flight to Houston today. Nice. Yes. Man, we can't wait for the cruise. It's going to be a blast uh, September 12th through the 16th. 16th. Yeah. Yep. Yes. And uh, there's a couple slots available uh, with the fuckery that went around in uh, Iran. Um, some some guys got deployed, right? Well, yep. I just also want to tell you guys, Deck 7, we created this group uh, outside of the whole cruise group, and we have shirts made. Deck 7. There's no going to be like way. 30 people wearing the same shirt. Rocking it out for the cruise. Are you guys gonna God like uh, start a gang or something? What is this? Yeah, it actually says Deck Seven Mafia mm. on That's the shirt. Great. <laughs> That's great. That's <laughs> great. I can't wait for the fucking cruise. So, because my, my wife, is like, she's she's a she gets motion sickness, right? Oh, uh, so unfortunate. Y- yeah, I'm like, welcome to the cruise. Welcome to my life. Um, <laughs> no, no, because she'll, she'll be on it as well. Mm-hmm. But I, all of us are looking forward to it. Uh, Danny Warsnot from Asking Alexandria is playing. Can't wait. That's going to be wait. amazing. Are you, are you a fan of his? Absolutely. I know. Yeah, he's going to play some acoustic sets, two of them, I think. T- yeah, yeah two. Mistaken, yeah. Shades of Blue is amazing. Yep. I know. If you haven't awesome. seen him perform live, it's incredible. Yep. And uh, look, th- hey, thank you for coming out. I, thank I know you. you're one of the biggest in the group. Like, everybody loves you, and uh, people are sad that you're out of Drinking Bros Singles, which is a <laughs> thing. It's a private group on yep. Facebook. It is. Yep, I'm yeah. out of it. Sorry, guys. He, she, you drug him out. <laughs> he, dr- he drug you out of it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Thanks for coming out. Thanks, let's guys. Get, let's get you on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you look like a prisoner. <laughs> you he looks look like, like a person prisoner. of interest in a <laughs> crime. <laughs> Yeah, somebody yeah. that the police are actively looking for. Yeah, prison joke, wasn't it? Yeah, it, yes. it, it was definitely a prison joke. <laughs> yes. Yes, it absolutely was. Again, if you're, if you're watching... No, no, no just you're... don't arrest him. We got cops here asking if they need to leave for this part of the segment. Yeah, snitches get stitches, eh? <laughs> yeah, they do. God damn it. Uh, if you're watching the video show and you say to yourself, man, what does a Florida man look like in all of these articles? Boom, you're looking at it right here. Florida man right here. I'm this... literally every article ever written about Florida man ever. That's I, I am like the it. Florida man. Have you been to jail? Because it looks like you have a, a homemade tattoo that just says dirt on your hand. Is that is that real? <laughs> I got that as a joke. I do. Can you get the, Alex, you get the camera Alex, on it? Why don't you zoom in on this? It just says <laughs> dirt on his hand. It looks like you did that yourself So I got with your that. other hand. It's actually so Dirt. Yeah, it's Dirte. Yeah, yeah. You know what you I'm wanna, talking about. Nice. It's it's French. On, yeah. It, yeah it's, it's, it's French. It's French for No, class. I got that as a joke like 10 years ago. Because uh, I wanted to say, oh, you ever have dirt on your hands? You can't get it off. You know, you start to wipe it off. You can't get it off. There, buddy. Ah. Look. And look. <laughs> That's a right long there. way to go for a joke. It's I, it's still funny. It, yeah, it's it? not a face tattoo, but it's, it's close. Still, I'll, I'll never get a face tattoo. We'll see. On we'll this see, handsome yeah. face? Well, it's true, yeah. <sighs> Jeez. It's true. Uh, Come on, man. So let's ask the obvious <laughs> question. You've been to prison, right? Yes. Sir. Were you in prison <laughs> with Amiri King? I was <laughs> No, was I wasn't in. I wasn't in Eddieville. No, I, I did uh, time. I did my time in uh, uh, Louisiana. Oh, uh, nice. Louisiana prison, even better. Yeah. Because um, when I think of Florida, nope. way the worse. State after is Louisiana. <laughs> that was a complete joke. Um, Thanks. What, what'd you go to prison for? Uh, attempted murder. Holy shit! Are you serious? I'm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the fucked up thing is I can't back up anywhere. I'm an inch from the pool. Either I go in the pool, this motherfucker kills me. Bye bye. So here's what happened. He was on a podcast, yeah. <laughs> and the guy kept talking shit to him. <laughs> Holy and, uh, shit! Is that real attempted murder? Yes, it uh, absolutely is. Who who did I you attempt sentenced. to murder? I was facing. It's. Uh, uh, do we have time? Yeah, we have all the time in the world, <laughs> okay. my man. I, I I was I was dating a girl uh, years and years ago. Uh, we were at a bar. We were hanging out. We were drinking, having a good time. Some guy put his hands on her. So you're basically Nick Cage and Connie, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought of that, but thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to say that from now on. You're welcome. You are no, my new best friend. Yes. Sorry, Emery. Oh. No. Oh, he's I've about- <laughs> stolen so much from him. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Fuck you, Emery. Oh. He's talking about oh, em- no. Emery King, who's been on the show. And Emery- he doesn't know how to spell his name right, brother. No, no <laughs> oh, it's a weird man. spelling, but we like Emery. He's a funny guy. He is. So, so this, this dude put his hands on your lady. My, yeah, this guy this guy put his hands on my girl at the time, and you know I got in the middle of it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there was a whole you know shit storm started over it, and I... Yeah, I 
beat his ass. I almost killed him. He was in the hospital. He was so uh, it was just your hands, like not a weapon or anything. No, yeah, no, no weapon, no nothing. To You've do. really got to fucking beat a guy good to get a fucking attempted murder charge with your bare hands. Look, okay, no, I'm not gonna like hype myself up or anything, but yeah, I did. I did put him in a hospital. Okay, he almost died, uh, and but luckily I had a good lawyer, and they got it dropped to uh, assault, just assault. So, so simple assault. How many years did you serve in prison? Seven. Seven? Ooh. Seven years. You four didn't have that months. Great of a lawyer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was better than 25. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. <laughs> was that what you were facing? Yeah, I was looking at 25. I did seven years, four months, 13 days, six hours. Man, and it sounds I kept like you never kept track. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like you never kept track. No. Um, what was cool, when you're involved in a situation like this, because I think this happens to all of us, right? Somebody talks shit to your lady, you end up beating the shit out of them. You never think you're going to be up for attempted murder, right? Not at the time, no. No. So who, who pressed charges, this guy or this the guy? Well, oh, this his guy family, his family. He had a, uh, what is that called, power of attorney? Oh, yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, whatever that shit's called because he was unresponsive. Did he end up living? <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's fine now, yeah. He's fine. He recovered 100% from what I know. Gotcha. Yeah. You, you ever chat with him or? Yeah, you guys friends on Facebook? Why in the fuck? I, I'm just Why asking. Why in the fuck? Look, bury the past. <laughs> bury the past. Move on with your Friend life. Become friends with him. Yeah. You, guys, with, you yeah. guys start a life together. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Uh, move away together. Are you still with the girl? No. God, no. Oh, no. Boy. No. Nope. That was seven years of my life fucking wasted, eh? Yeah, but so so you're in prison. Did she say, hey, I love you. I'm going to stay with you throughout the seven years? She absolutely did. She did? Oh, my and did God. She, and did that make it the full seven? No. It did not. It made it four months. Oh, four <laughs> months? Yeah, dude. Jesus Christ. So you go to, you go to jail for seven years for a girl who, who lasted about that, four months. Where's that one that got topless in the fucking hot tub? Right yes. there. Is that Stand up. Is that your Stand wife? up right there. That's my wife now. Oh, that is your wife. Way oh, you after. did. Congratulations. Yeah. You know, it's, it's weird. Out of everybody here, the girl who got topless in the hot tub, I did not expect to be with you. <laughs> totally kidding. That's exactly who I expected. <laughs> yeah. No, no, totally. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. long you guys been together? Eight years. Oh, eight years eight now. Eight years, yeah. So that's a happy thing. Are you guys married? Eight years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well I mean, not on paper, but... We live. We've lived together for eight years, so why not? Yeah, that well, that's Jared's motto. We'll marry you. <laughs> yeah, we'll do marry it. you guys. Do yeah. it. Do we'll it. Do it. Do it. No, right now. Well, I mean, we can't now. Right now. No, you have we... to get a marriage license from the state, and I'm nuts. Ah, Poor we shit. can't. We we can. We can't. Um, Poor shit. I know. I when, when, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hold on. It sounds like a bunch of liberal what bullshit. You <laughs> what you don't seem to understand is that I've been to prison for not following the fucking rules. Yeah, and with White Claw, there are no laws, so. There yeah. ain't no law when you're drinking the fucking claw, is it? Goddamn right, That's the dude. best advertisement you're ever going to get, lady. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this: Are you in Drinking Bros? Or are you just friends with the mirror? I'm in Drinking Bros. I'm in. I'm in Drinking Bros. Oh, yeah. Sound right. No, it doesn't. It doesn't sound right. Just flip the switch. Did you turn there. it off? Ah, uh, you turned it off. There you go. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hi. That's fine. Welcome back. My name back. is Nika Mulanov, and I'm an alcoholic and a dumbass. <laughs> No, it's um, fine. I am in Drinking Bros. I'm in a lot of subgroups, but I was what sub part of you Maine. In? I was part of Maine. But uh, there was some post a couple of years ago mm -hmm. that um, ended up commenting on, and me and some guy got in an argument about, mm. and I got kicked out. And yeah. they didn't like that, so I'm not in Maine anymore. But I'm in nerds, I'm in gaming, I'm in pets, I'm in Central Florida, Drinking Bros. Central Florida, mm -hmm. um, which is actually how I met my homie right here, Bradley Jennings. Put the camera on him if you wouldn't mind, please. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I, my the, homie right I there. I like how the, he's taking over the show yeah, now. Yeah, he's the director of the goddamn <laughs> so show now. Said, I've been to jail for attempted murder. I have no control anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Zero I control. I swear I'm a big teddy bear, eh? Yeah. No, <laughs> of course. Uh, you're, you're exactly Somebody like, bring me a beer. You're exactly like Teddy Ruxpin. Um, no, I mean, I'm being serious. I need a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Get him a beer before we die, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm packing that shit, Jesus yeah! Jesus Christ, PBR, baby. Him a PBR. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do you do in Florida? Uh, I, I was a cab driver. I, actually, uh, I was in a car accident some years ago. I 
disabled now. Oh, no, you're, I okay. Don't do, I don't do anything but sit on my ass getting fatter and playing video games. Was the car accident your fault? No, it wasn't. I got hit by a bus. Holy a shit. A city bus, yeah, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of the it dream was... for Florida man is to get hit by a city <laughs> bus, though, right? Like, honestly, that's that's the life right I'm there. Didn't that happen every other weekend? Yeah. <laughs> You're checking off every stereotype <laughs> box on the Florida man list. Um, Would it I, help if I said this happened in Cincinnati, Ohio? Yeah. yeah. A little okay. bit, but not uh, yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, so are you going to get married to, to homegirl here? Um, if it wasn't so goddamn expensive. <laughs> yeah. Where did she go anyway? What the hell? She was in did the hot tub for a long time. She's fucking. Look, hey, go see if your truck's still outside. She might have just went home. Okay. She well. might have just went home. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's too many call outs for me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to be honest, man, but the level of laughter and fear is probably even right now for me. <laughs> I mean, it's probably in a. Oh, an even amount for me. Uh, anybody you'd like to, you're my, to, to you're give my a friend. shout out? Thank you're my you. friend. No, I love you. I, I appreciate it. I absolutely appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, you know what? I do want to give a shout out. Uh, I want to say, Emery King, I wish you were here. Why in the fuck you didn't just book a plane ticket and come down here with I was us? Busy hanging out with fucking parrots. Yeah, exactly. And selling Skyboy. Skyboy. Yeah, shout out to Skyboy. Shameless yeah. plug. Exactly. They're my homie. Exactly. Shameless plug. I don't even care. Thank you for being on the show. Yeah, let's, get, let's get someone from uh, Orlando uh, SWAT team here. Uh, come Thanks, on buddy. in after that. <laughs> come on in after that. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you, buddy, for being on the show. Come on in. You came. Look, here's the beauty about Drinking Bros. Whatever city we come into, uh, somebody Ooh. somebody volunteers to pick us up from the airport, everything else. Um, the reason why I wanted to bring you on directly after that, one, make sure I stay alive. Yeah. Uh, two, uh, <laughs> is that your everyday life in Florida? Yeah, pretty much. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. It's, it's 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 a it's on like a 12 hour rotation type deal so you know like i deal with guys like that every 12 hours and they're awesome yeah but yeah, yeah. you know it's like a love hate thing like i i don't want to have to do my job but i have well to here's do my the job. deal you, you i know you you're a dirt bag too oh 100 it's terrible so we're oh, yeah yeah oh yeah he's a huge and we're ju we'll just say like undisclosed central florida agency like, absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we won't say no. wh where you work or yeah, anything like no, that no no but the beauty of dan and i is so we come into town the first thing we ask you is is about casey anthony yeah 100 percent. yeah i know her because that's orlando's finest when sure. you come into orlando you think shaquille o'neal yeah Penny hardaway casey anthony yeah right uh, she was the one that got away, you know. She yeah. was. She was the one that got away. Well, literally like, from the law, right? Yeah. yeah. No, one hundred percent. Yeah, in, in many aspects. But yeah, I, I you know, I had an opportunity to bone her, and I didn't bone her. Yeah, I yeah. Done, I should have boned her. That's too bad. It no, is. and you always look back with regret on that. I know I always, because I, I didn't say. have pictures to show Dan, and you know. Yeah, uh, you. I, that would have been great for me. Look. I know you'd be talking about I'm, her all the time. She's on my hit list right now. Yeah. She's on everybody's hit list. Yeah, literally. Literally. <laughs> uh, what's it like working here? Because there's so many big cases here. When we came in, we were talking about Casey Anthony. Right. Trayvon right. Martin was here. Right. Um, uh, the alligator who ate that child at Disneyland yep. was here. Like, yeah. Yeah, I went to high school with that alligator. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you guys graduated in 72 uh, together. Um, with that, I'm kidding. D'Anthony. I am um, 30 years younger than you, <laughs> at least. But here, here's the weird thing, and this is why I bring this up. When, when you think of Orlando, when you come here, you're thinking Disney World, happiness, children. It's kind of the opposite. Of yeah, alligators, Because right? if you live here, it's salts. more, yeah, it's meth, heroin, and, yeah, bath salts. It's not Disney World and Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah. what do you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, right now, I don't. I'm more of a desk job type deal and then doing the the SWAT thing um which is usually just high end kind of crazy stuff type of deal sure. um but back when I was on the road yeah it was that it was just meth heads and heroin heads and craziness and you know bums with no teeth trying to eat people's faces off and stuff and you know and that's real right yeah absolutely there's 100%. a lot of good there's, there's a lot of good nothing. meat in the face though yeah a lot yeah. of people don't know that yeah no i know 
I like yeah. how Dan's killing bugs on the table. We're we are living. This we are Florida in Florida. Yes. Yes. I mean, no, we are in it. They're like little pterodactyls flying around out here. But I am drenched. Let me ask you this: Do you think it's part of uh, of the heat? Why everybody's like this? Yeah, a hundred percent. Have you ever been outside sober and then been so hot that you realize that? You are just literally going crazy from the heat. Like, That's what it feels like, right? And then you add alcohol and meth and heroin to the mix, and you literally are eating people's faces off. Yeah, because Dan and I on the yeah. flight out here, we were trying to figure out the Florida man sitch, yeah. right? Right. I think the humidity's got a lot to do with it, you know? Yeah. Because you get alcohol mixed in with meth and then everything else, and then you're, yeah. you turn absolutely fucking crazy. Yeah. Luckily, Jeff has got a, like a, a closed-in thing. There isn't sure. very many bugs out here, but that's but another part of it. They're still getting in here. They're, yeah. they're chewing through the screen, I think, is the deal. That's another element yeah, of it, right? I know. Yeah. Uh, but, how long you, How long you worked at uh, the place you've worked at? We're not going to say where it is exactly. Uh, 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. And we, we look, we just had Mike the Cop on the show. Right, yep. You heard that Good episode. Show, yeah, yeah. What makes you do what you want to do uh, today? Because... Let's face it, it, it's fucking hard, man. It's and a it's thankless only job, harder. for sure. Yeah, yeah. no, 100%. I, I, I think, th and I, we were talking about this earlier when we were in the truck. Um, to start, it's you know kind of like that duty to serve. You feel like you want to do something, kind of help the, the community or the country or something that matter. But as you get into it and you kind of find your niche or whatever it is, it's, it's a little bit about self-preservation, but it's a lot about the guys that you work with. And f for me, with the guys that are on my team that I got to work with every day, you know, there's 50 of us, and those dudes, like, I would go to the end of the earth for those guys. And, and that's, that's more what it's about. It's just about, uh, it's, it's about showing up and making sure that your brothers go home safe sure. more than it is about yourself. Because yeah. you know that if, if you're protecting them, then they're protecting you, and then everybody wins in the end. And, and, and I guess that's what it's about. It starts more as, like, service, but in the end you're like, man, nobody fucking likes you. Nobody... Nobody really gives a shit about what you do for the most part. Well, we like you. Well, we I do, yeah. I appreciate that. Fuck, you know, I, I, I got to say, I had a, I had a fantasy about be, being between you guys, but I didn't think that I'd be Chinese finger trapped like this on camera. We are only getting did started, my friend. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, we, uh, oh, you did. Shit. We're just getting started. We're I just said that out loud. So God right damn. Claw left, friend. God I had damn. a fantasy you were here uh, when the guy who was up for attempted murder uh, yeah. was here. And I was like, oh. Please tell me there's somebody I had from... you. I had you, buddy. Thank I had you, you from I, afar. I saw it because I was trying to make eye contact yeah, with you in I the had back. You, I'm like, hey, man, we're good, right? Like, this yeah. is a safe shooting distance. Right. I don't need to go too far to the sure, right. You're, you're good. Left. I got you. I got you. As, uh, I, as, long as, as long as we're within, like, 100 yards, we're set. All right? Oh, absolutely. solid. Absolutely. And, uh, look, <laughs> we're going to continue the show. We're going to do something we, we don't typically do uh, mid-show. But uh, since you were nice enough to uh, pick us up and drive sure, us around, sure. and obviously, you know, if anybody who's listened to the show, we, we love our first responders. I want to I want to give you the opportunity to give someone drinking bro of the week. No shit. Absolutely. All right. I got I got just the guy. Great. So there's an officer uh, local to Orlando. His name's Kevin Valencia. Last year uh, he was shot in the head, uh, responding to a domestic disturbance. He is a he's in a permanent coma as far as we know he was shot right in the temple um it was a 21 hour standoff that we were all on dealing with and um the guy's got a wife and three kids and no way to pay for him because he's in a permanent hospital bed right now so uh they have a gofundme page i don't know what it is off the top of my head but what's i can his, push it out on the name? Facebook. kevin valencia valencia kevin valencia kevin valencia okay. but um the guy did his job he was trying to kick in the door to go rescue those kids and the uh, bad guy shot through the door and hit him right in the temple god damn, so man. um he is uh he literally represents everything that every one of us wearing a badge does for a living and um he did it without fear and he took one for the team and uh if there's anybody that deserves drink bro of the week it's it's kevin valencia that guy is uh, a yeah. local hero and he's a great guy and thank you my respect to to him and his family but he's he's still struggling he hasn't woken up yet uh it's been over a year and um his family yeah. needs financial help so i'll try and push out the gofundme on the drink of Bo's page of the admins yeah. allow it and, oh yeah uh, yeah for sure and see but uh, yeah. and, and can you search his name on GoFundMe? Yes, Kevin Valencia GoFundMe page. Yeah. Okay, great. 
Hey, man, uh, it, it's a pleasure having you on the show, dude. Absolutely. It's a pleasure getting to hang with you Yeah. Uh, in real life, Pleasure dude. to meet you, Ross. Yeah. yeah for We've sure. had a blast yeah. today just driving around talking shit, man. Right? We talked, uh, I think it was like 40 minutes talking about buttholes. Right? A long time. Yeah. I know. Long, it was weird. I don't know why I'm so fixated on buttholes. I don't know. I love it I very much, though. Yeah. Uh, who's got a, a crazy Florida story here? Who's up? Who's up? Yeah, you do. Come on in. Bring it Come on, on in. in. There we go. There we go. All right, boys. I like how I like how he got he got shy here. Come on in. Come on in. Who who do you got on your shirt? I've got I've got my boy Moose. Moose Mike. He's wearing a fuck your sensitivity shirt. Yes, he was drinking bro of the week, episode forty five. No way. So you've yes. got a Alec, get a shot of, of, of this for the uh for YouTube. That's amazing, man. Did, uh, yes. did you write in and make him drinking bro of the week? No, his girlfriend now fiance wrote in. Really? Yes. So what, what happened to him that, that you made him drink a bro of the week? Uh, he has leukemia. He's had it for six years. Six years. It's my boy, Nick. Um, yeah, he's had leukemia for about six years now. He's He wanted to be here. Ross, he fucking loves you. Oh, really? He He's the reason me and him are here. No he, shit. He came to us one day and was like, you guys know who Matt Best is? We are yeah. like, yeah. We've seen his YouTube videos. He's like, you know he's making a movie, right? We're like... <laughs> No, I didn't know that. It's like it's about zombies and shit. We're like, all right, cool. He's like, do you know who's directing it? We're like, no. He's like, Ross Patterson. And we both looked at him. We were like, who? <laughs> 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 and, and he, so he sat us down. We watched Pool Boy and FDR. Oh, FDR American Badass. Yeah, yeah and Pool Boy. I watched yeah. Pool Boy two we, weeks ago. It's fucking ridiculous. I watched man. it on. It's on Amazon. It's I on Amazon. Yeah, last all week. these movies. It's funny, man. Yeah. Like you do all these movies, um, and then now they're available on Amazon Prime. You can watch yeah. it for free. There's uh, been a whole well, new I, audience. I, I, I paid, just I it paid for, the first for FDR. Time. FDR, you got to pay for. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you I do. paid for FDR. You know, you know, we're thinking yeah. about doing it. We're thinking about doing a live screening of Range 15 on YouTube Live. That's badass. What do you yeah, about for that? everybody. Would That's you guys badass. watch that shit? Yeah. Yeah. What's uh, what's your crazy Florida story? It involves moose and a slip and slide. Okay. Oh, fire away. So shit. this is the story about how I almost killed moose. Was there an asshole or genital injury? He thought it was a general injury. Okay. Okay. So Moose has been battling leukemia for a while now. Right. He, we decided to have a party. It's for my birthday. It's mine and my roommate's birthday. We have a week apart. So we had a birthday party, and we decided to do flip cup, slip and slide. And Moose, we sorry, were, sorry. Let me stop it right there. Yeah. You want to go cup. ahead? Go ahead and explain that. So basically, you set up a slip and slide for our boys. Our 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 thing. We did. We set up like a twenty foot tarp. Okay. And lathered up with baby oil and Dawn, like Dawn soap. Okay. We watered it up. We had a table at the end, mm -hmm. and you slip and slide down, and you play flip cup one at a time. When we did, we added a thing to you do a dizzy bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, did okay. that. So uh, this Moose is was, really complicated. Yeah, oh, I know. Holy it, shit. it was fun as shit though. But um, so we decided to. You know, do this, and 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 Moose was like, eh, "I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play drink the beer because I win every time, kind of thing." Sure. So I, you know, I told him I was like, "Hey, like, quit being a bitch and get the fuck over here and play." And he's like, "Well, Mama didn't raise no bitch." So he came over and played a couple rounds, and about two rounds in, he was like, "Ah, oh, fuck, like, something doesn't feel right. Like, I, I'm hurting." Yeah. Um. So long story short, his. Spleen was enlarged from his chemo pills that he takes. Okay. He had bursted his spleen and was bleeding internally. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's a, it's a drinking injury. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Um, so he, uh, his now fiance, Brittany. Okay. Um, took him to the hospital. Uh, what was it, Nick? Like two days later, a day later? Yeah. yeah. He, thought, he thought he was sick from the cancer. Like he, threw he thought he was sick from the cancer, but yeah. what, 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 what was it? So he Burst his, his spleen from his chemo medicine, his, 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 his oral chemo. Sure. Had enlarged his spleen. It bursted. He was bleeding internally. He went to the ER, and the doctor told him that if he'd been two hours later, he'd have been dead. He had his spleen removed. Your, your spleen's usually about the size of your fist. Sure. His was about the size of a pro football. Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah. Yeah, we have pictures. Yeah. I don't, yeah. When we talked about craziest story, like yeah, yeah I you thought you were gonna talk about a guy throwing an alligator through a fucking no drive through window yeah. or something. Yeah, I I called my buddy a bitch for not doing a slip and slide, and he almost fucking died. So you almost killed your friend. Then, I huh? almost killed my. And friend, how do you yeah. feel about that? I feel pretty fucking good because yeah, he's, fuck him. Yeah, right? yeah. He, yeah. fuck the, this cancer. <laughs> he's the reason I'm fucking here tonight. That's awesome That's good, because, man. like I said, he fucking loves you, Ross. Oh, like, dude, I, not I appreciate even joking. it. Like he's. 
He's in the hospital right now getting chemo. Um, he's super fucking bummed that he couldn't be here tonight. Well, I'll tell you what. After this is over, yeah, we'll get him we'll, on FaceTime. Yeah, we'll get him on FaceTime. FaceTime and, yeah, we'll, we'll make um, a video for him. Let's fucking do it, bro. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. This Hell yeah. fucking moose. So in, in episode 45, his, his now fiance wrote in. She gave her full name, Brittany Marriott. Yes. But she didn't give his last name. So I want to let you know his last name is Battaglia. Great. Mike That's Battaglia. That's B-A-T-T-A-L-I-D-I-A. I have no fucking clue how to spell it. B-A-T-T-A. He's your best friend. You're not to spell his last name. No. Uh, he, I mean, like, but then, like, that's the story about how he almost, like, I almost killed him, but he has a story about how he almost killed me, and, like, that involves, like, snowboarding in North Carolina, and we, like, straight up, like, he wanted to do a black diamond, and we'd never snowboarded before. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah. That's where you're going to so, start. That's so where we you're going to start. So, like, I was trying to talk him out of it, but he was like, bro, I have leukemia. Like, I might not, because I was trying to tell him, like, hey, like, let's, let's do this next year when we've got a little more experience. And he's like, fuck that. He's like, I might be dead next year. Yeah. Let's yeah. fucking sure. do he it might. now. He let's might. do it now. He, he might. might. Not you. Yeah, exactly. Not you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he, like, basically the best way I can explain it is we took the lift up and we, uh, we basically, we Marcus Luttrell'd that shit all the way down. We <laughs> fucking <laughs> fell down that fucking mountain. And it was the best fucking time of my life. Well, we laughed so fucking hard. That's I, amazing. Any, any thought that he was trying to kill you so you would die before him? Well, this actually happened before I tried to kill him. So I gotcha, like, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, I fucking fucking Moose, I fucking love him. Like no awesome. matter his his running joke is that his uh, he wants to get his his girl pregnant and then die because he thinks she'll be a good single mother. Like, <laughs> wow, that that's, that's that's probably as good as Dan's Holocaust. Yeah, joke I was just earlier, thinking so. about that. Yeah, that's pretty dark, man. <laughs> oh, that is dark. super dark. Like, fucking, um, <laughs> my God, man! No, hey, thank you for being on thank the show. You, I love yeah. you guys. I, yeah, man, and Thanks, we'll man. FaceTime him Fuck afterwards. Yeah. yeah, let's do it, brother. I'm uh, down. We, we got time for one more crazy Florida story. Any any drinking bros with a crazy Florida story out there? Brittany, you've been on. Yeah. We you've I went to on. high school with Brittany. Come on, yeah. come on over. Yeah. Me and Brittany graduated from the same high school. No way. Yeah, I, I, I saw her on the Facebook page, come and we on. have like six mutual friends. And I after she got off, I was like, "How do you know these people?" She's like, "I went to high school with them." I was like. Well, I went to high school with you, and she's like, "Fuck yeah, bro!" <laughs> <laughs> so who? Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on in. Awesome. Come on in. Thanks, man. Trake? What? Wait, what? His name is Trake? No. Oh, not, yeah. not, not, not Trake Von. Oh Martin. shit! I thought it was like a different rap not name. Trake Yo, Drake. Like, he like, a, Yo, Drake is taken. Let's just do Trake, dude. He had a stovepipe. No, no offense. Yeah. Like, well, it's, uh, what, what's your name? Uh, James. James. James from yeah. I'm what's actually, your last name? Golian. Uh, I'm actually not from Florida. I'm just a transplant. I just got mm. here. Like, oh hell yeah! Hey, but you're a drinker, bro. And so you've already had a definitely. story. Yeah. So yeah, it was actually in Stark, Florida. If anybody knows where that's at. Yeah. Stark. Stark. Okay. Yeah, Stark is like a south of Jacksonville, north of Gainesville. Okay. Oof. Yeah, so I was with this gentleman here, uh, Chris Clare, shout out. Yeah. And uh, uh, Whiskey River, Whiskey River Bar in Stark, and uh, it was a big idea, like, hey, let's go out and drink tonight, let's find a bar, and somebody brought up Whiskey River, uh, Whiskey River, and he was like, no, 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 no. We don't need to go there. And we're like, what? Why, man? And he was like, because uh, his face is on the wall there. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Well, his family yeah. had grown up there. So he was like, yeah, been there, done that, got the T-shirt, don't go there. Sure. Sketchy. So we go, and uh, obviously it's karaoke night. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves a, a yoki, mm-hmm. right? A yoki. Yes. Nobody and- calls it a yoki, do they? <laughs> Uh, I think I just did. Yeah. Yeah. You just, yeah. I think you may have coined the phrase just ah, now. Ah, shit. Yeah. All right, well. Yoki. Yeah, uh, uh, Oki from a, yeah, that's wrong. It's fine, a Yoki. So what, what were you singing? What's your, what's your go-to Yoki uh, song? I'm a Seeger guy. Oh, shit. Oh, Silver Bullet Band. Night Moves. Ooh. All right. All right. Uh, that, that turned the page. Goddamn right. So I'm, I'm literally celebrating my life, just enjoying myself, just beer, just a lot. Like yeah. I, I could say white trash, right? You that's do not, everyone. Oh, yeah. That's sure. not that's yeah. not offensive. Stark yeah. Florida. We're, we're all white trash. So yeah, yeah, we're all white trash. Yeah, so it doesn't yeah. Matter. Whiskey tango. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm in there celebrating my, my white trashness, and uh, it's all going great. And then it's the end of the night. the The populace, the local populace in, inside the bar, is uh, uh, all male, from the ages of forty one to fifty seven. Yeah, yeah. Typical, you know, your typical. Typical yogi smoky, crowd. Yeah, your yeah. smoky bar, yeah, at, smoky which he yogis. warned us about. Yeah. 
we're having a blast all the way up to about 1:58 p- a.m. And so at that time, it's either you're you're fighting or fucking, yeah. right? Yes. And from the so, ages yeah. of 41, 41 to 56, you're not doing a lot of fucking. So uh, this dude who had uh, I don't know the the, the medical term a for tracheotomy. It. Yeah. Yeah. He had a voice who had box. Been, who, who had been smoking marble red 100s the entire night. So it was like the commercial. Yeah. You're just like, you should quit smoking. Yeah. Or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so I had, they were closing up at the bar where the lights came on, and uh, some, some young lady had, had, had yelled at me, something like, hey, get out of here with your little dick. Or it was more like, hey, get out of here with your little dick. And I was going to, you know, like, Pretend that I was gonna pull my dick out, like oh, I'll show you, whatever. So I undid my belt, yeah, to say, "Hey, I'm not scared of you, redneck woman." Sure. And her husband immediately got angry. I don't know why, but he weird, did. Right? Yeah. That, yeah. It's that, weird that a guy would get mad you were trying to show his wife your dick. It blows my mind still to this day yeah. that he would get understand. angry yeah. at that. That's uh, weird. But he got angry, so he started yelling at me. And uh, I'm more of a, a pacifist nowadays. Through his voice box? No, no, no. That, that, he, Drake is over here by the bar. Okay. Drake is by the bar. The The gentleman that's angry at me is not Drake. So he's yelling at me, but they must have went to high school together. Drake and angry sure, husband. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So he starts coming at me, and he grabs me, and he tells me, he goes, I'm going to cut you. And immediately, this gentleman over here grabs me up. He's like, it's time for us to get out of here. Yeah. So if it wasn't for them, we got to the parking lot. They followed us out to the parking lot. And like I said, the average age that that bar was 41 to 56. You bet. Well-educated people. Not that I'm not going to believe that one at all, but yeah, yeah. sure. And uh, so we get out there, and they put me, because I'm, I'm loud at this point. i am kind of been drinking all night. So Yeah. I go to the truck. They put me in the truck, and uh, the the gentleman with the, with a the trach, the husband is nowhere to be found. He's at the door talking to a bouncer, but the gentleman with a trach is circling the truck that I'm in. Okay. Like I don't know if Jaws was a thing. But yeah, yeah. What was the end result of this, by the way? Uh, no, he he. he I cracked the window. This is a big story. I, cr- this is... I I cracked the window to apologize to him. Right. Okay. I cracked the window to apologize. He's like, I just want you to get out. I just want you to get out. Uh huh. And so I was like, okay, I'll get out. Sure. So I got out. Then he tells me he loves me. The guy with the tracheotomy says he's in love with you. The one who told me he was going to cut yeah. me. Yeah. Tells me he loves so me. So how long have you guys been you? together? Yeah. So six, six months now. Yeah. Is that him? Yeah. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. But that was my first experience getting to any kind of altercation with someone with a, with a, with a trach. And, and in Florida. In Florida, yeah. First. First, so I, I like so somebody. Yeah, somebody just screamed out first from the crowd. I'm gonna be reals with you. Uh, the chances of you getting into a, an altercation with a guy with a tracheotomy pretty low, pretty low in this lifetime. When That's you said first, are you expecting this to happen again? I'm a realist. <laughs> I f- You're fortunate so, that it happened the one time. It's fl- it I, is Florida. I'm a transplant, so I'm, I'm just there's you know. Zimmerman? Yeah. yeah, Zimmerman, the whole thing. <laughs> well, welcome to Florida. We appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. Uh, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway. It's sweaty. It's hot. Ugh. It's humid. I, I feel like we're extras on the set of Bloodline. Um, one of the weirdest episodes we've ever had in the history of the show, which I'm going to be honest, that, that takes a lot for me to say. It does, yeah. It takes a, a real lot for me to say. Uh, thank you to White Claw for sponsoring us. Um, not sure the White Claw is going to be amped to listen to this episode tonight, but uh, <laughs> or watching. Uh, oh shit! Are they, are they watching right now? That's great. Oh, that's so great. There's nothing like ruining a relationship with a sponsor you've only had for one show, <laughs> and absolutely flushing it down the toilet. Well, uh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> To Jeff, Jeff, uh, thank you for having us. Cheers, Jeff. Cheers. You're a brave man, sir, and now we are going to get fucked up and take this well into the evening. To Jeff's neighbors, uh, I'm not sorry for everything I taught you earlier. Taught you a lot about living, a lot about love, and a lot about life. 
And some parts about the Holocaust, too. Yeah, I think, yeah, a lot of parts about the Holocaust. I feel like a modern-day Alan Jackson, though, from what I've taught you here tonight. Uh, for D'Anthony and D'Anthony Holloway, I am Ross Patterson. We are the Drinking Bros, live from Orlando, Florida. First house party we've ever thrown, and God damn it, it did not disappoint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good night, everyone.